Today, we are going to explain a movie full of action and suspense. In this movie, we will know how we can bring a dead person back to life. But before this, our channel is new, so please subscribe it. In the beginning scene, a soldier named Marine Ray makes his appearance. He is shown fighting and holding a gun, and he shoots at everyone, killing them. As he reaches, he recognizes a terrorist pointing a gun at a man. He informs Ray to put down his gun. Ray, after this, asks, what do you want? Then he starts asking for a helicopter. Ray says on it, if you'd like a helicopter, give me a call. As the terrorist gesticulates the phone, Ray kills him, getting a chance while firing. And the man under the gun threat is survived. The next scene starts at Avian Air Base. Many soldiers are getting off from aircraft and helicopters, where Marin Ray slogans, neither any mission is much difficult nor any sacrifice is too great, and all raise their voices, duty first. In this way, Ray moves to his wife, who is standing beside him. It is a successful rescue operation, and he departs to Mombasa in Italy with his wife for spending the holidays, but they are unluckily kidnapped there by Martin Axe. Actually, Martin is eager to collect information about the hostage operation of Mombasa. He asks many things from him. Ray responds, you can ask me anything except it. I know nothing about it. After that, Ray consoles his wife saying everything will be all right. But the kidnapper says, nothing will be all right and he ends his wife. Ray says in depression, I swear I will fight and end you. As a result, the kidnapper also kills Ray. In the next scene, Ray is present at that place where he is properly attached with cables. Coming into his senses, he falls down, removing the cables from him. Meanwhile, a girl KT arrives saying, everything is going to be okay. Then a new character, Dr. Harding appears and says to Ray, welcome to the rising spirit technology. He tells, I am Dr. Harding and says that your awakening is a big phenomenon. Then he informs Ray, US military has donated your body to us and you were dead. Actually, Dr. Harding brings him for the purpose of superpower, making him his weapon for his organization. Dr. Harding tells you are the first one who has been enlivening successfully by us. And it has done beautifully. You are also the first one who availed the second chance. Dr. Harding also informs him that we are constructing a valuable asset for the US military. We have experts for making more strength than soldiers. Experimenting on Ray, Dr. Harding injures the hand ray, which is healed in no time. Actually, it is a biomechanical construct that is reacted soon. Dr. Harding further informs that many damaged tissues are immediately recovered using this technology. Then KT says, you will never know who are you because you have been classified. Dr. Harding says that was your past, while it is the future. Then Dr. Harding tells about himself that I was a tennis player and also a champion. I suffered the disease of cancer at the age of 15 years old and my arm was detached from my body. Then he shows his strength, full arm to Ray, which is fixed mechanically with his body. Then he also tells Ray, if soldiers are deprived of their arms, we will fix stronger arms with them. Then he takes him to his other patients, including Jimmy telling them they are stronger than the past. Jimmy had lost his legs and artificial legs have been fixed with him. While his other partner loses, his eyes and cameras are adjusted on him, which are directly affiliated with the optic nervi so he can have a sight of things. After awakening in the next scene, he finds himself more strengthful. Punching the pillar forcefully, he does not get any harm. The pillar is cracked, and he is also able to lift the heaviest dumbbell. Then meeting with KT, who is swimming, he says that it is a nightmare having the loss of my memories. KT offers him a drink after drinking. His mind has flashbacks and all memories of his wife's murder come into his mind. He hits his hand furiously on the table and taking his bag, he leaves outside. Dr. Harding is observing everything through the camera and he says, where is he going? He asks his assistant to open the channel. Then he asks Ray, where are you going? Ray asks, how are you talking with me? Dr. Harding says that there are a billion wireless processes in you that are connected with your brain. You will have to return. We are your familiars. Ray says I had a wife who had been murdered, so I just want to confirm it. Afterward, Dr. Harding asks, who has murdered? Then Martin Axe's name is revealed. Dr. Harding asks him to come back and says, you are a multi-million dollar product. But Ray does not care and departs while sitting in the cockpit of an aeroplane. 
The identified location is now Kuala Lumpur, which is Budapest. Now a place is shown where Martin Axe is being taken in the car. While passing through the tunnel, the lights of that place are switched off and suddenly a truck crashes into another vehicle. Martin Axe, sitting in the car, says to the men in the car, Let me go outside. In this way, Ray reaches there and starts firing. Martin shouts to take me out from this car. Ray is shot, but nothing harms him because he has been converted into superhuman power. His body absorbs all his flowed blood on the ground, healing him. On the other side, he is attacked with the bombs and gunfire by the security guards and others, but he remains in a safe zone. Reaching towards Martin Axe's car, he kills him. In the next scene, the airfield is shown, where Ray reaches there by his Jeep, where scientists' patients, KT, Jimmy, and Marcus are waiting for him, and he is brought back to the lab again. He tells Kate, I have killed my wife's murderer. I have accomplished my task. And all bring Ray back in Rising Spirit for reprogramming. Ray is again under experimentation in the lab, wiping out his memory. Actually, Dr. Harding is programming his mind to create false memories about his wife's death. These are false and make part of his programming. It is done in order to eliminate rivals in the Rising Spirit. Removing his present memories, Ray is reprogrammed. Now Dr. Harding talks to KT. She says we are going to wipe out his memory. Dr. Harding says, what we did was for a cause. It declares that Dr. Harding was using Ray independently as a weapon. Now the next target of Harding is Nick Barris, who will be killed by Ray according to the plan. KT says, Ray is a soldier, but Harding takes him as a dead soldier, and he deserves it. Now Ray's wife, Gina's killer name Nick Barris is set in the mental program of Ray, so Barris becomes his next target. Now Ray again goes taking a car. Dr. Harding repeats his pre-planned sentences as, where are you going? We are your familiars. Then it is asked, for whom you are going after? But now it's been revealed that I'm going after Nick Barris. Now Ray reaches East Sussex of England by aircraft where Barris resides. While working in his office, Barris receives a briefcase having an EMP bomb by his programmer named Wiggins. Dr. Harding is observing all of it with his camera. Ray introduces the all abuse to everyone. When he approaches out Barris, he blames him for killing his wife. Barris says, it's a lie that you don't understand. Ray distributes him, then passes outside. He starts to lose his sensations. When Ray is unaware, Wiggins, Barris' programmer, takes him in there. Dr. Harting's lab displays the signal lost message. Coming into consciousness, Ray is nearly to attack Wiggins. Then Wiggins says, I am your well-wisher. Thinking about it, why is his wife's murderer is different every time? Wiggins is also surprised about it. Ray tells him the name of his wife, Gina, Wiggins says, amazing. He injures his own hand and squeezing blood from his hand, he hands it over to Wiggins, running through an entire programmable system. He also tells that Rising Spirit has programmed the false memories in you, making you a killing machine. Ray says on it, this program is temporary. He also discovers his alive wife. The next scene takes place in London city of England, where Ray reaches the house of his wife after searching her. He requests her to return back. Gina says, what happened to you? Everything was settled. Now I have my family, Ray asks. When had we met last time? His wife replies, five years ago. Hearing it, Ray is astonished. Then Ray weeps a lot of leaving that place. He is driving a car, then immediately, Jimmy and his partner crash badly his car with their vehicle. They also start firing on him. Receiving a gunshot, Ray's body part is turned into blue color, and Ray gets a chip from there and flees. Jimmy with his partner tries to track him as they fire their gun in the air. The bullets turn into the cameras to identify Ray's location. Guns are fired on Ray. In return, Ray also starts firing, snatching a gun from a police car. His fight is going on with Jimmy. Both are toppled down on the public road. Meanwhile, a coming truck passes over them. Ray does not get any harm and recovers while Jimmy's artificial legs are detached. After a while, Jimmy stabs a device at Ray's back, putting him into unconsciousness. Now KT becomes well-wisher of Ray and forbids to obey the command for Wiggins given by Harding. Harding makes a disorder in KT's breathing system. Consequently, her condition is worsened and later she obeys. She leaves for Wiggins' search. In the following scene, KT is in London and arrives at the location where Wiggins is present. She asks Lighter from Wiggins for smoking. As she smokes, that smoke makes Wiggins fainted. She murders his security guards while fighting with them. Coming into senses, Ray is with Dr. Harding. Ray says, you made me a killer using me as a weapon. You also tried to show the fake murder of my wife. Dr. Harding says, 
Revenge is such a tool that makes a man exceptional like you, Ray says. People like you only work to break the people like me, but you cannot put a harness on us and it will never happen. Suddenly, Dr. Harding makes him senseless, bringing him into his previous condition. At one side, Dr. Harding is programming on Ray, while on the other side, Wigans starts his programming. KT tries to help Ray so that she may rescue him, bringing him to the right place. Dr. Harding again tries to create a block in her respiratory system after knowing her planning, but access is denied. On the other side, fully armed Jimmy also comes to fight with Ray. Now Wigans controls the programming of Ray. Ray says, I am going for my task completion. He reaches a place where Jimmy is with his partner Marcus. Jimmy's other partner also comes to help him. Now Jimmy and Marcus together fight with Ray. But Ray, as being a superhuman power, hurts Jimmy violently detaching his powerful hand from his body. That hand hits the car of Dr. Harding, which is being used for escaping. As a result, his car is stopped. Now Ray moves towards Dr. Harding. Dr. Harding shouts that, I was alone who rebuilt you. If I will be no more, your survival will be difficult. But Ray continues to move towards Dr. Harding angrily. Dr. Harding attacks Ray with his weapons in hand. Ray, on the other hand, tries to deflect the bullet. On the other hand, KT with Wiggins retains Ray's programming, which is under one's control. Ray's body has undergone various transitions. Ray now tosses the seized bomb on the ground, resulting in a significant burst that kills Dr. Harding. Wakening in the next scene, Ray asks, Where am I? Then Wiggins says to him, Relax. He asks, How are you feeling now? KT is seated outside while Ray goes outside saying thanks to Wiggins. How did you like this entire movie? Tell me in the comments, do share this video with your friends. We will be meet in next video. Till then, keep subscribing to this channel.